outside David Bowie's apartment in New York City. Uh, we're in front of the David Bowie shrine, um, under his apartment, where he used to live. From our ancestors, we, we have a tradition of uh, bringing objects to shrines, making some, some kind of uh, gesture. I've been a fan of David Bowie since I was about 13, and I'm from England, and I wanted to just come and pay my respects to him. I really like his music, and it, I've grown up with it. His music around to my teenage years. That's the only way I can describe it. That's all I listened to as a teen. I was a fan since I was nine years old, so I really grew up with his music and every uh, part of my life, every stage in my life was kind of tied to one of his albums and uh, some things that he did and it's really my life. I always remember uh, waking up on Saturdays to the sound of David Bowie, just blaring through the speakers in the living room. And I don't know, it's just something kind of like a second nature to listen to his music. I mean, it's great music, his lyrics just really, I think people can just really relate to it. Any generation can relate to it. And I think the younger generation, I know my son's only 20, he's really into him now too, because he writes the teenage angst. Like he wrote what we all felt. I introduced them to the music and I sang them when they were uh, just born. I used to sing to them uh, like David Bowie songs when they were kids and babies. And I guess that's something they, they just uh, got with their mother's milk. I don't know, it's just kind of the way he expresses himself. He doesn't feel the need to like conform with everyone else. He's just his own person. He was always morphing himself and staying with the times. He changed his music to go with the times. I mean, he was a genius. I just think it's absolutely brilliant. I mean, as an artist, to go out and to use your art in your death, I, it's just fantastic to me. And that song, Lazarus, is stunning. Parents are often huge impacts like mine. And, uh, well, he's just kind of like, he, he really impacted music today, too. Through art, we uh, learn so much more than we would just by uh, reading uh, bare facts and reading books. I think he taught people that you can just be whoever you want to be. You know, he dressed as a woman. Um, lyrically, he talked about men, women, so sexually for both sides. You can just be whoever you want to be as a person. And I think his lyrics would encourage you to strive for things. Art is much more transcends the uh, knowledge uh, taken in through art uh, stays there for a longer time. He said that uh, what he did was not to please anybody, it wasn't to be popular. His primary intent was to uh, make, create music.